Hi, so in this video we're going to be looking at differentiating ln x and ln a function of x. So when we differentiate ln x, we get 1 over x. So dy by dx equals 1 over x. And in this video, I'm not going to prove the this result and the result on the next screen. But if you want to prove, um, I can make a video showing the proofs of that. Just let me know. OK, so if I have y equals ln of some function of x, so I mean x squared plus 1 or something like that, when I differentiate, what I do get is on the top of my fraction, I get the differential of my function of x. And on the bottom, I just put my function of x. And this just comes from um, substituting, say, u in there and then using the chain rule to put it all back together again. OK, so let's see if we can use that. So if I got y equals ln 3x squared, on the top, when I differentiate, I get the differential of f of x. So f of x is the 3x squared. So when I differentiate 3x squared, multiplied by the power, take 1 from the power, is going to give me 6x. And then I just divide by my function. So my function is 3x squared, so I just divide by my function. And then I sort it out a little bit. OK, so the next one, same thing. I differentiate whatever my function is. My function's 4x minus 1. When I differentiate that, I'll just get straight 4. And then I divide by my function. OK, so it's just I thought I'd do one slightly harder example where we're using the product rule. And remember how the product rule works. Uh, if we have two things multiplied together and we differentiate, we take um, the first one and multiply it by the differential of the second one plus the second one multiplied by the differential of the first one. OK, so first of all, you have to decide what's u and what's v. So I've got u equals e to the x and v equals ln x squared. You then differentiate both of these. I don't know why I did it this way around, but anyway, the du by dx is going to give you e to the power of x, because when you differentiate e to the power of x, you just get e to the power of x. Um, now I'm going to differentiate the v, and so I do what I did before. I differentiate the function of x, so that will just become 2x on the top, and then on the bottom I put the function of the function of x without differentiating it. And then I just sort it out to be 2 over x. And then I just go step by step into here. So I need u, which is e to the x, dv by dx equals 2 over x plus v, which is ln x squared, and du by dx equals e to the x. And I could actually just make that look a little bit prettier and write it in a nicer form, but that's how I've left it here. Um, I hope that's helpful. Again, if uh, anybody wants the proof of those uh, results, just let me know and I'll do a video showing you where they come from. Okay, I do hope that's helpful. Bye.